For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Fleet, reporting live from the CDC's Weight of the Nation meeting in Washington, D.C. Data presented at the meeting show that obesity now costs the United States approximately $147 billion a year. CDC Director Dr. Thomas Frieden addressed the obesity issue at a press conference. But there may be leveling off in some populations. That's a leveling off at a rate that has doubled in three decades. The average American is now 23 pounds overweight, and collectively, we are 4.6 billion pounds overweight. Two recent scientific reports highlight important, timely information. First, on the enormous economic costs of obesity, and second, on the potential to reverse and prevent the epidemic. In terms of the economic costs, we now know that the burden is about twice what it was the last time it was estimated. Currently, the burden is around $147 billion a year in direct medical costs. People who are obese uh, end up expending nearly $1,500 more per person per year on health care. That's about 40% more than an average weight person. Lead author Eric Finkelstein, Ph.D., of the Research Triangle Institute, compared obesity-associated medical costs in the United States in 1998 versus 2006 and found a 37 percent increase. Dr. Finkelstein commented on the physician's role in combating obesity. We actually published a study a few months back where we uh, brought individuals into a program and we gave them screenings for cardiovascular disease, for diabetes and cancer and hypertension. Uh, and in theory, they were told about these risk factors and offered opportunities for prevention. And when we brought them back a year later, 50% of the people that were diagnosed with these health conditions claimed that they were never told. And so clearly there's a failure either in presenting this information to uh, individuals with these risk factors or in presenting it in a way that allows them to internalize it and then make the changes in behavior that would be associated with improved health. So I would argue that physicians first need to figure out how to convey messages to their uh, patient population such that people get the message and then are energized to make those changes in behavior that could be associated with mitigation. For Global Medical News, I'm Heidi Spleet.